Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I have been posting videos back to back this week. So if you're not subscribed, I highly encourage you to hit the little subscribe button. I would love to welcome you to my YouTube family so you can stay in the know whenever I post videos. All right, so in today's video, I am doing a plan with me video for the month of August. So I am actually using my Simply Yours day planner. The company is called Plant and Proper if you're looking for them on the internet. So yeah, make sure that you go check them out. But I wanna hop into the video because I'm trying a new technique on camera today and it is brain dumping and motivational planning. So I'll call it that. So I used this section last month to just put down some affirmations, some motivational quotes, some scriptures, just to keep me through, keep me going and motivated, right? It is definitely a difficult season for us all. So planning is a way for me to tap into my creativity and to help make the best out of the situation that we are in right now. And over here, I'm going to do some brain dumping where I just write down free form everything that comes to mind about this month, my priorities, what I want to do, and all of that. So if you're interested in that type of video, make sure that you stay tuned. But first things first, since you stumbled upon this video and you may be new, my name is Coach D and I love navigating life strategically. A part of that does include planning, which you see here. It keeps me organized as a busy mom with a fast-paced career in corporate and working from home with three small children. So make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, so I'm looking through my sticker book. This is all faithful. So if you've seen other videos, you probably have seen this sticker book in better conditions because I've had it for a while now. And I've gone through quite a few stickers. So I'm gonna look for just some add-ons for this page since it will be my brain dump section and then I'll get started with the motivational portion. So I decided to put a sticker in the middle. Now I don't want this to be a mind map. I want it to be more so of a brain dump because typically with mind maps you start with a centralized theme and you kind of create your branches of thought based on that. But I do want it to be more free formed and more brain dumpy so um, we'll see how that goes as I get going. But over here, I do want to go ahead and write down some affirmations and just some motivational content. I will share that I did this 40-day um, prayer challenge for your business. And in it, I went through and did the prompts, prayed, studied some scripture, and I wrote down some nuggets of wisdom. So I do, I do want to keep that at the forefront of my mind because this was a great 40 days. And even though it's over, the time is over, I want to capture some of the, um, again, just some affirmations and motivation. So I'm going to start writing those here. And I use the lines just to guide me. I don't focus on being neat, right? So the purpose is just to have affirmations going along the lines. Um, so short scriptures here or just, you know, sentences going down the lines. So here's the first example. I wrote down the scripture, Psalms 5 and 3. And again, I just repurposed this section because you can repurpose any page of your planner that you'd like. So this is just a title page for the month of August, but I wanted to be creative in it and to just use it for my affirmation. So no matter what planner you're using, you can take a page, you can take a spread, and you can make it fit you so that you're not just planning for the sake of planning, but it's also a tool to help you to navigate life. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it's definitely a motivational piece to add to my planner. So yeah, this this was really fun to just sit down and to reflect on, again, just that 40 days in that prayer journal and to just capture some of how I was feeling during that time. So yeah, so over here with the brain dump section, I think I'm going to switch to black. I probably should have used another sticker sheet. I have this sticker sheet and I haven't used it yet. And I'm not sure how I want to use it, but 
I'll just jot down a few things for the brain dump. So this is a, a idea of how this will work. So as you can see, the theme that I started with was back to school. And I just reflected on everything that I need to finish doing to get my kids ready for back to school. And I just made branches off of that theme. So even at, even looking at it, right? So I'll take this as an example, my pre-K three materials, and I'll continue to expand upon what specifically I need for him. So I'm going to do my brain dump here in my planner. And I hope that you guys give it a try. If you have not tried brain dump planning, just to set yourself up for your monthly spread, your weekly spread, or even your daily spread, right? So that would be a good thing to do at the start of your day, just to reflect on everything that you need to get done in your planner and then plan according to that, right? So now I know I have to add school supply shopping, right, to my list. And I'll know their start dates for school so that I can work backwards to see when I need to work that into my schedule. So I hope that you found that helpful. Give it a thumbs up. So next is the calendar for the month. And typically I like to decorate this uh, this month because I don't necessarily, like the school date changed, right? So I'll just be transparent. Our back to school date changed and what I have in my phone calendar is not the current date. I believe the current date is the 17th. But with the rate that things have changed so far, and it's, you know, no shade. I know the administration um, for our school district is doing the best they can with the information that they have. So I want to kind of leave some flexibility in what I'm committing to this month. So I didn't have anything specific in mind when I started just laying down my stickers for the month. So I have my goals, my big goals, my top three goals noted over to the right, as well as some important dates already pinpointed on the spread. Okay, so I am done with my spread for the month. This sticker will get removed. I pre-filled in some birthdays, so I just covered up the name there. So that sticker will get removed because I know it's out of sync with the rest of the spread. But I really like how this turned out. This is my before the pen. I'm not going to go in and pencil down any information on camera this time. But I hope that you found this video helpful and that you had some nuggets or some inspiration as you prepare to set up your August 22, 2020, excuse me, planner spread. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you hit subscribe. I would love to welcome you to my YouTube family. Bye for now.